How cute are these little violas? I started these seeds in July and they are coming up beautifully. As you can see, I kind of just put like a bunch of seeds um, into these little cups to get them started, which has worked really well. And then I figured today I would take you along with me as I kind of separate them out and get them planted out into the garden. I do not have um, a bunch of like violas from the garden center yet. I haven't gone and purchased them just because I'm kind of waiting until it cools down just a little bit more. Probably in the next week or so here I'll um, end up getting some. Um, but I actually also ordered a bunch of seeds for violas too. I kind of want to start some more um, viola seeds for the like winter early spring garden. But I figured I would get these guys planted out and I'm gonna do it, I think, in this um, hanging basket. I thought it'd be kind of cute, like in the winter, just to have um, a hanging basket that's all violas. And these are the tiger eye violas. So like they're this really pretty, um, like yellow with little stripes, basically kind of like tiger stripes um, and just, sweet, sweet little violas. I actually grew some over, like started them in the winter and put them in the spring garden. They bloomed for me. They did great. I wasn't totally sure as far as starting viola seeds. It's something you get at the garden center, you know, so easily, but they were actually a pretty easy plant to grow and get started. And they're kind of fun. They do take a little while. So these are probably like, ooh, six weeks old at least. And I'm just going to gently separate them and stick them down in here and then just like tuck them in. And I'm going to put probably all of these in this hanging basket because I do want this hanging basket to be really full and I'm not sure how long it's going to take for all of these guys to fill in. but. You know, I think it'll be super fun. I don't do a lot of this where I plant a bunch of seeds all together and then separate them, but for something like this, it works really well. I mean, this was really easy to get them started. They've grown really happily. I mean, you can see how healthy they are. And this is like a really easy process to just separate them out, pop them in, that guy there, and then I'll water them in. And they'll be kind of like a, um, you know, they'll kind of just mound up. I don't think they're really gonna spill over the edges or anything, but I think that'll be kind of nice for for winter. They'll probably bloom. I find that violas for me, I'm in zone 7A in Virginia. Um, they pretty much bloom all winter. Like they might take a couple weeks off where they sort of um, slow down or get you know, the heat or the, not the heat, the cold kind of gets to them for a little bit, but then they just pop right back. And with my violas that I've started, like that I bought as starts, I usually trim them back early, early um, spring. But I don't know, with these, they may just grow and grow and grow. But how cute will this be? A little hanging basket, right? So excited to get the fall garden going. I haven't really purchased them. I'll water these in a minute. I haven't gone ahead and gotten my other fall violas yet. I think I want to get um, some like red ones and maybe I'm kind of into like some of those darker colors. I actually saw at the garden center last time I was there black violas, which I think look so interesting and would be kind of really cool to try. Um, so I, I may get some of those and I did get a bunch of um, seeds that I ordered in the mail for a bunch of new viola varieties. Ooh, I forgot one thing. I need to fertilize. I'm gonna, shoot, I always forget to put this in until after I planted things. Just wanna do a little bit of slow release fertilizer. I'll just sprinkle this around and then work it into the soil and then we'll water it in. That'll help because these guys will be in here for quite a while. You know, they could grow, gosh, for a couple months here, six months. So they could grow for a while. So I wanna have some slow release fertilizer. Okay, I have one more container of these and I think I'm gonna put them over 
in my like, I've got my bed where I was growing the decorative corn for the fall. And that's looking good. That's growing well. I'll show you how that is. I threw in a couple kale seeds, which are also doing okay. And then I just think I'll add in some of these little tiny viola starts and they'll be super easy to add in without disrupting things because they're such small little Here plants. Here's a little corn window box. <laughs> As you can see, the red stalker corn is growing up. And how fun are these stalks? I definitely want to get more of these seeds because I think that is beautiful. As far as like a decorative corn goes, I mean, what could be more decorative than something like that? Really, really stunning. And then grab these <laughs> out of here. You can see there's a few little kale seedlings. I am getting just absolutely I don't even know what the right term is. The bugs are just really, really hitting the garden hard. I kind of forgot that this happens every year, um, but the bug pressure is so intense. Like just caterpillars, the slugs are back, I think. Something has been eating my, um, my bunching onions, which is to me seems so random because usually like the alliums and the onions and everything are safe but no and certainly the kale seedlings are <laughs> at risk but so far there's still a good amount growing in there so hopefully they'll get started i may have to resort to starting more things inside or i may just have to go to the garden center but i'm gonna get these guys planted all in here again just the same kind of process as planting them in the container just making some little wells for them to go in and then putting the little seedlings in and they should be perfectly happy. Okay, so here they are, all planted in there. I just tried to space them out pretty evenly. I may have to come back in with um, some more like to fill in once the corn comes out, uh, but I'm just gonna wait and see how that goes. And, oh, I think I forgot these guys. I'll just tuck them in there. There we go. They're pretty tough little plants. I mean, I've hacked them back pretty hard in uh, the spring and they'll grow right hardy, which is really, really nice because they do really well throughout our um, Virginia winters. They really handle it with almost no problem. So I'm excited. I have just, yeah, as I said, I can't say enough good things about starting violas um, from seed. And hopefully I'll get a chance to show you the other violas that I just ordered. Hey, okay, so it's a few days later. Um, I'm out here doing all kinds of chores and things. Um, but talking more violas, I actually got a few from the garden center and then I wanted to give you an update on how the transplants are doing. Most of them are looking pretty good, especially the ones in this container that has the corn so that we could do some decor with it. And most of my little transplants are doing really well. Um, they look really good. They look really happy. <laughs> Excuse like the mess. I had to put down a bunch of slug bait because boy, we have been fighting slugs this month and all of my seedlings um, are having a little trouble. I'll be interested to see how these take off. I do have a little kale in here, which I'm thinking I may get a few more kale starts and maybe fill in some areas around and just kind of see what happens with that. But I also found these really pretty violas at the garden center and I couldn't resist. So I popped just a couple in there because remember these are the tiger stripe ones. So they will be kind of yellow. And then these violas have this really pretty purple. And I think that looks beautiful. This is the um, color mix purple glow. So gorgeous. And I've been having fun with these black violas as well. Aren't these stunning? So I've added them to a few different spaces and I really, really like that. Beautiful, beautiful color. Let me show you the ones in the okay. handbag. So these are not looking so great, full disclosure. Partially that's my fault because I did have um, a little issue with um, some of them getting too dry. I kind of miss watering like one day and then this happened but a couple of them might survive i may just go ahead and revamp this um, container as it turns out i'm not quite sure um, but at least they're in the ground for now and then we can kind of move them around and just see what happens and i got in an order with a bunch of violas i'm really excited for the 
uh, I guess it'll probably be the spring garden because I'm probably not going to start these till maybe like November, December. Um, but I ordered a bunch of viola seeds. I found that Baker Creek had a bunch of good varieties. I ordered some other things too. Um, I'm going to do a whole video. I may have already posted it by the time you see this where it will be coming out with all the seeds that I'm selling this month um, because I, I got a bunch of different varieties. Uh, but they had a ton of pansy and viola seeds. I did order a few pansy seeds as well. Um, and I'm curious to kind of see how growing the pansies from seed will be because growing the violas is, is really fun. I'm thinking that they're, they're pretty slow growing. So if I like get them started maybe in December, December is probably the best because then they'll have a couple months to grow inside and then I can plant them out into the, um, you know, into the spring garden, but I went for all these fun vintagey colors. So I guess the yellow isn't really vintage, but that's a nice accent and that'll go well with the colors that I have out right now. Those black violas, the purple violas, um, and the tiger eye violas, those will all match. And then I found all these. I'm all into this like vintage sort of look. So I thought this Arkwright Ruby was a gorgeous viola. Isn't that a beautiful color? And it was interesting because I noticed when I was at the garden center looking at the viola, at least the violas they have at this moment at my garden center, I didn't see a lot that were in like these like reddish, red brown, reddish tones. I don't know if this is a little bit more rare of a viola tone, but I didn't see a lot of these. You know, you do see some red pansies, which are always gorgeous. Um, but I just thought that's like a stunning color. So, um, really yeah i'm really excited to to get these going it says start indoors eight to 12 weeks before your last frost but again they're kind of frost hardy so what i did last year was got them started pretty early and then moved them into my unheated greenhouse where they had um, a little bit of cover and a little bit of protection from like the coldest nights and they did super great then this brush stroke spiola That'll be beautiful. Sorry, my hands are so dirty. I've been out here gardening. Um, but this will look great, I think, with the colors that we have. And then a historic pansy mix I couldn't resist. So, so pretty. Um, so I'm going to be getting all those going. Yeah, probably later on here in the winter. And what I may just end up doing with that hanging basket that you saw me get started is maybe convert it into some kind of a little bit of like a Halloween hanging basket. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm expecting the baby here at some point in early October. So that may affect how some of this, these plans get going, but I'm trying to keep, um, keep the fall garden going. I want to get it all done here now before I deliver her. And then I'm going to try to kind of like pre-shoot some of these videos so that I have a few things coming out. Um, cause obviously I'm going to take like a little bit of a break from gardening or at least the most intense gardening, um, for, you know, a few weeks after the baby. Uh, but anyways, that's the little viola. I just wanted to come up, come in and give you those updates of the violas that I got from seed. And I'm really excited. I'm excited to get them going this winter. I think they will be a perfect, um, little like winter flower to get started. And they're so nice because, um, they just grow slowly and compactly. So even if I do them in little individual cells, they'll just grow and grow and grow and be super happy. Um, but anyways, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.